Hey there everyone, and welcome to a bonus episode of Let's Play Halo Reach! So, um... So, before I get on to Halo 2, I want to show the locations of all the data pads in Reach and the terminals in 1, since I obviously missed some in both games, and in the case of Reach, I missed a whole lot of data pads. I will be using, also from there on, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be using a guide for like all of the future games to uh, get everything as I do the main Let's Play. All right, noble team, Psychedelic Adventure made some fantastic guides on Steam. And those are the ones that I'm using. Or I know they made, I know they made guides up to Halo uh, 2. I'm not sure if they made more after that, but if so, those are the ones I'll be using. Okay, so apparently I've already messed something up with this. See, the thing about Reach... The thing about Halo Reach is that um, some of the data pads, practically half of them, can only be found on Legendary. Let's stay focused. Watch your sectors. Now, if you're playing on Legendary, there should be an Elite that will immediately start running down the hill towards the gate there, I believe. And we have to quickly go and kill that elite, it and it will drop the data pad. Put us down on the bluff. June, I want your eyes on the sky. So, let's go, six. Okay, let me read this real quick. Okay, no, it spawns in next to the gate and then runs over towards the cliff. All right, noble team, spread out. Watch the approach. <laughs> oh, that's it. killed him! Finally! Okay, I actually restarted the mission and got down here fast. You basically just have to get down here ASAP to get him. And where is this data pad, though? Oh, there it is.
Huh. A lot of the uh, data pads and the terminals in like Halo 1 and onwards, um, they basically, like the, the main reason I'm putting so much importance on showing all these is because they have a lot of lore in them and they help to like build like the background and stuff, but honestly I have no idea what that one was talking about. It kept saying our creators, like... Is there, like, some kind of artificial, like, species or something that was, like, typing all that in the data pad or something? Hmm. Anyway. Oh, by the way, disclaimer, I am not playing the entire game on Legendary to get these data pads. I'm just going mission by mission, and if there's a later data pad in the, in the same mission, which there usually is... I'm just gonna go in on an easier difficulty. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I will see you at the next one. Oh, I didn't find this one? I thought I did. I thought that was like the only data pad in the game that I actually got. Okay, I think we're safe to read for a bit. So are these like AIs or something, maybe? Okay, this is another legendary only one. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but the first one with that elite is also legendary only. Okay, it should be over here. Yes, there it is. Oh, the ODST are mentioned here.
ODST means uh, Orbital Drop Shock Troopers, and there is actually, I, I'm sure I've probably mentioned it before now, but there is a actually a game about them. It's like an expansion to Halo 3. I've never played it. It's the only one of like the main Halo games, well, other than 5 and Infinite, that I've never played. So it would seem, and Command wants to know what they're hiding. Okay, I had to check the video for the location of this one, because the guide supplies videos with it. I think it's somewhere around here. Hold on, let me ch let me check the written guide again. Oh. Oh no freaking way! You can jump on that branch. Who would have thought? There it is. Man, these legendary ones are... Some of them are really well hidden.
Okay, the next data pad should be around here somewhere. Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, so they are like AIs. Well, maybe not necessarily AIs, but... They do seem to be computerized at any rate. The next one is apparently very, very close by. And the next legendary data pad is... Oh. Okay, thank goodness I could still get up here. All right, the next data pad should be right over here. Oh, no achievement. Okay, this is the one that I found then. Okay, the next legendary one should be... I think over here? Oh, I see. They want us to jump up onto this. Then somehow get up onto that?
There we go. And here's the next legendary data pad. And with that, we are pretty much half done. Yeah, I'm gonna go through this one, like, really quickly, because I do not think I'm safe here. Pause if you want to read it. And yes, this is on Legendary. That, that, that That's a regular data pad, but I went through this part on Legendary. Strangely, it was easier than last time. Mostly because the checkpoints were nicer to me. Also, I managed to avoid quite a bit of combat with the jetpack. <laughs> okay. I swear, some of the stuff they expect you to do to get these legendary ones Come on. Dang it. Physics, stop. Oh, you're safe to kind of go over towards the back. Okay. Joking. Okay, so basically, I had this. I, I I had that weird glitch again, where I died a whole bunch of times, and it ended up reverting me to a previous checkpoint for some reason. And I managed to fight my way into the building over there a bit. And I I gotta say, I didn't give the Needler enough credit because the Needler is actually really good for taking down them brutes with the heavy armor.
And yeah, if you sneak your way around the building like that, it, that's, that's how I got over there the first time. Yeah, seriously, I, I take back everything I said about the Needler sucking. I mean, I think it works a little differently in each game, but still. Pretty dang good in Reach. Like, you could... Definitely, it could definitely help you a lot on a Legendary run. Okay, ignore me, please. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go find a data pad. Oh, there's like a safe zone down there you could fall to. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think I see, like, an edge of those that I could stand on. Hold on. Yes, okay, there we go. Good grief. Put your wings back on, Lieutenant. They're flying this Falcon. Covenant have deployed comm jammers in high rises across the city. When I find them, you hit them. Hard. Four Charlie 27 to command. Request immediate assistance. Go ahead, 27. We're at the Byron Telecom Tower. Got hunters between us and the jammer. Copy 27. Help is on the way. Noble 6, I'm sending you coordinates for the Viren Tower. Go get those troopers unstuck. Oh, and don't fall in love with my voice. The closer you get to a jammer, the worse our reception is going to get. Cap out. Put 
Put your wings back on, Lieutenant. We're flying this Falcon. Covenant have deployed comm jammers in high rises across the city. When I find them, you hit them hard. Report Charlie 27 to command. Request immediate assistance. Go ahead, 27. We're at the Byron Telecom Tower. Got hunters between us and the jammer. Copy, 27. Help is on the way. Noble 6, I'm sending you coordinates for the Byron Tower. Go get those troopers and stuff. Oh, and don't fall in love with my voice. The closer you get to a jammer, the worse our reception is going to get. Cap out. Yeah, these legendary data pads are fun. So yeah, that's the thing you can do to get yourself out of those situations. defense turrets to assist you in defending the lab. Get them online, and quick. When the turrets take too much damage, they'll shut down to recharge. You'll need to reactivate them when they come back online. Noble 6, 
Time. Whatever you have to do, do it. Yeah, hold up. Not entirely sure where this is. No, actually, I think I do know where it is. Yep, yep, I saw it right there. Yes, this is this is another legendary one. And there's our next legendary pad. Oh. Gonna have to pause that. Was that it? Yes, that is it.
All right, and that leaves just one more data pad. And of course, this is a legendary one. Not entirely sure I understand the instructions, though. Oh, here we go. Go up a ramp in front of a large pipe. I think I have to get inside the pipe. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, I don't think I did this right. Okay, so I died on that attempt, but it turns out that is actually what you have to do. I think you probably just have to somehow collect it, like, through the side, or I mean through the mesh here. Oh! Wait. Oh my gosh, this actually works. Okay, there's no time to read this, but like, pause it. Anyway, well that does it for the data pads for Halo Reach. So, yeah, about time I got this bonus episode made. Anyway, see y'all next time.